Oh, it looks great. How did you get no drip? Oh, yeah. Shane Shear and I got 4 HCCA 15, just the regular versions on two 11,000.1 Orion HCCA. I got them wired to two ohm series parallel, two each on two sets. I got three custom electric alternators, two 320s, about 1,100 amps. This enclosure actually I built myself. It's a two to one according to the specs I did. The rear's tuned to 25, front's tuned to 40. It's series tuned port. This is my first stab at a sixth order, so I'd see how it worked. Uh, I got the SPL cartel for controlling base through the RCAs. Yeah, the Atwood fans, I got the Turbo 4000, a, a two Turbo 3000s. Uh, you can find them on Amazon usually. And then the wire connectors I got that go into the inputs are actually just a 90 degree input. I put them on just to try and make it look good. I got a Rockford Fosgate punch that needs to be hooked up for the doors whenever I get another amp. I'm gonna have two eights, four fours, and two five and a quarters. The system really likes to get low, so. He's got a like 23 hertz. It's definitely getting low. You can definitely smell it now. Getting low and getting stinky, two of my favorite things. Well, kinda. We've all been there though, sitting inside a base car like our buddy Shane's here. And next thing you know, what's that smell? The infamous voice coil stank. Oh boy, there's many different reasons for it, but sometimes you just can't avoid it. Mix together lots of power in voice coils something's gonna end up smelling. Have you ever noticed how certain subs have their own unique type of smell? Like the good old Memphis Mojo or HDC4s? Well, I'm sure it's because the different companies use different glues and epoxies, but man, sometimes that odor can be pretty funky from one sub to the next. So let's hop back into it, guys. Let's go and check out Cole Lohman's setup uh, from Slamology 2018. This should be pretty cool. My name's Cole Ullman. Uh, I've got six SA-12s on three cab 1600s. It's just a fourth order. I had Johnny Scully design it. Not quite a two to one ratio. And then I just decided to do the wood stain, do birch, and then uh, do some epoxy clear coat on it. But there wasn't quite enough room for six 12s, so we did three on each side, just firing towards each other, kind of like a uh, clamshell. Just got some Group 29 Odysseys. And door speakers, got incriminator components, and sundown full range 2.75s and eight pillars. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. I love it. Well, right. not as loud, so. That's all good, man. I can't wait.
system you got there. And that was put on by Jeezy, obviously a, a world staple. Gotta have that at least once played on your sound system. Seems like she's doing pretty good. Nice, man. Yup, can't go wrong with the classics. And that's what it's all about. Enjoying your music without worrying about the equipment that you have. And I know obviously some people are always gonna hate on the little guy, but not me. You could have a world-class or a Walmart sound system for all I care. If it makes you happy and it fits your budget, it makes sense to me. Last week I posted a video on Facebook and because the install had subs of all different sizes kind of mixed together, some people had some pretty harsh opinions about it. One person even came down on me personally for uploading the video, saying things like stupid systems like these shouldn't be uploaded and basically telling me that I should delete people's videos if it's not done in a professional, like, grand way. And I was kind of surprised by that, and I thought it was completely bogus. There's no way I would exclude someone just for the choices that they make in their equipment. And I certainly wouldn't film someone else's system just to come home and totally delete the video from existence. That would be pretty lame if you ask me. So bottom line, if you're happy with what you have, don't let other people on the internet convince you to spend more money than you can afford. This hobby is hugely based on personal preference. So if someone is forming an opinion about you solely based on what you buy, chances are that person probably wasn't worth your time in the first place. So with that said, if you do ever see me around your vehicle filming and you happen to have a small system, a single eight or a single 12, and you're worried that, oh man, this isn't big enough to be on EXO's channels, Absolutely not. I'm not that type of person. I am totally willing to spend time with you even if you don't have a world-class system. So with that said, let's go ahead and check out the next system here. Uh, coming over from Slamology, uh, getting some more bass demos, just having some fun. Let's check it out. Catching some videos. That's the power of like doors. doors. Yeah, I know. I saw the crescendo hand on the... Yeah, that's excellent. Oh, it looks great. Thank you. Clean as hell. Is that shellac or resin? Resin. What? How did you get no drips? Wow. I should have put more on the back wall, but I didn't want it too glossy because the car's headlights reflect off of it. Oh, I see. All right. I'll go ahead and shut this door up here. coming through right there. Cold air. They work. Yep. I mean, it's take two games. Weird. Really? Those are older, aren't they? Oh yeah, they're like 10 years old. They Which ones are those again? DDZ1. We're clamping like 6,300 out of them and half on Wow. Each, each one. Well, I appreciate you jamming that shit for me, man. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for doing the video. Yeah. Making videos is definitely one of my biggest passions. 
and having such a supportive group of people like all the base heads we met in this video just makes attending shows better and better and the systems are getting bigger and bigger. It's unreal. And if you ask me, it's only a matter of time before the United States is on the same level with other areas in the world that are just so advanced in this hobby of car audio. So with you guys' help supporting the EXO channels, slap some likes, slap some comments, engaging with the channel always helps and our supporters on eight, uh, Patreon always makes a huge difference. So thank you for watching these videos. Much more DIY projects coming in the mix. I've just got to fix my garage, guys. There's so much mold. And I will be doing an update video on that of how much water has infiltrated the EXO headquarters, man. Oh, it's not fun. It's not fun. But until the next video, I will talk to you then. Ha! EXO signing out. Hey!